Hi guys, <clears throat> it is just a yuck, gray, rainy, depressing Saturday afternoon <clears throat> here in the end times <clears throat> in this undisclosed swamp uh, somewhere in the Sunshine State uh, here on Saturday afternoon, February 6, 2021. So since the live music blues festival that I have been uh, looking forward to for weeks to actually hear some live music has been rained out. I am doing what I usually do with my life and that is sitting around in my gas sucking truck talking to myself. And uh, so for today's rant I have a, a concerned listener asking me a question. Hambone is uh, I'm, someone is seeking Hambone's advice. This is uh, from uh, Brother Tom. Brother Tom. Hi Hambone. I have been thinking a lot lately about collapse, extinction, and loss and how utterly infected our civilization is by the sickness of greed. <clears throat> the biggest thing that keeps me going is my two dogs. What do you do to cope with this reality, brother? Best Tom. Okay, brother Tom wants me, wants to know what Hambone Littletail does to cope with the reality of collapse, extinction, and loss, and how our, how utterly infected our civilization is by the sickness of greed. So, uh, well, Tom, uh, well, where, where to start with this? Uh, I, I used to say, uh, you know, get out there and enjoy it while you still can to cope with this, but we've pretty much reached the end of the line on getting out there and enjoying it while you still can. Uh, maybe I'll touch on this later, but, uh... More and more, what what I am doing, and and the, 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 this is no joke. I'm, I am spending well less and less. I guess is the more correct way to say it. I am spending less and less time down here in the Doomosphere. Uh, I am doing my best, pretty much, to ignore uh, the the Doomosphere. You know, I. I, again, it's uh, you reach a certain saturation point as you are probably going to reach where you simply, you know, you under once you get to this point of which I guess is acceptance of of that of how completely totally fucked we are, you know, and and you just accept the fact that we're fucked and there is nothing that you or I or anyone on this planet is going to do to change the fact uh, that we're out of here. Uh, once you get to this point and you just start asking yourself how many ways can we say we are so fucked how many articles can we read? Books can we read? Documentaries on Netflix? Can we watch YouTube videos from the uh, echo chamber of the Doomosphere? Uh, whatever. I, I, I mean, it just uh, it, it's just the same old song. Uh, and, and so what I have found, particularly since moving uh, down here to the Sunshine State, is the way that I am coping with what you're talking about is just uh, taking the we are so fucked and changing the we to I. Instead of we are so fucked, 
uh, I just, I'm more and more of my life is spent into I am so fucked that uh, since there's nothing I can do about uh, anything that's going on in the planet, I did the only thing there was to do, and that was to get... Uh, you know, sterilized at the age of 22. So since that is the only thing you can do, uh, I already did it. And so I am spending more and more time just focusing uh, all of my attention on my teeny weeny little personal problems that have nothing to do with the collapse of a planet. Now, overarching my my teeny weeny little personal problems uh there are uh, there is the we are so fucked cloud that follows me and every other doomer everywhere but the cloud is just part of my you know part of my persona i'm kind of like uh who is it pig pen and peanuts with that little dust cloud that follows him everywhere. I, you know, I've got this little black doomer cloud, you know, always hovering above me. But uh, after carrying this weight around for now 12 years down here in the doomosphere, down here in this cesspool, uh, I am just going back to, you know, what, 99.9% of the clueless fucking morons do, and, and that is not thinking about how fucked we are. Uh, and uh, we humans are fellow earthlings, and I spend more and more of my time just uh, not so much being a depressed collapsitarian so much as just being just a depressed, clueless fucking moron. You know, just, just looking at my regrets. I, you know, looking at these, the, these holes I have dug for myself, spending more and more time feeling sorry for myself. I, you know, wallowing in self-pity for how you've completely fucked up your own life, how you, through your, uh, through, you know, your, your anti-Midas touch, you know, to everything that you touch, uh, turns to shit, uh, you know, as the, as the list of things in my, the list of bad decisions I have made in my life, continue to grow the deeper and deeper uh, and blacker and blacker the holes I have dug for myself uh, in my in my own life uh, as this this absolute uh, withering uh, just you know tsunami of loneliness, uh, just how I spend more and more and more of myself totally alone, well, with my little dog, I do have my little dog, like you have your two dogs, that more and more of my life I spend utterly alone with no friends, uh, no real humans to talk to uh, down here, uh, you know, just obviously the absolute futility of of ever finding a a a girlfriend again in my life. And, you know, the unbelievable futility that I will ever find a doomer chick. Uh, as how far? What are we? Uh, eight days till Valentine's Day you know, being the single most depressing day of the year, uh, as I, I just understand, you know, as a 61-year-old uh, single doomer, that I am going to spend the rest of my life totally, utterly alone, uh, you know, in places like the end of a rutted-out dirt road in the Point Lonesome Swamp. Uh, that the Point Lonesome Swamp was the obvious place 
that I was going to end up, you, you know, making uh, the, it's even a, the decision to get this place down here uh, in many ways was uh, a bigger blunder than not burying my silver uh, deeply enough. And, and so I, you know, more and more of my life is consumed with figuring out how to get out of this hole I have dug for myself at the end of this rutted out dirt road uh, in, in the Point Lonesome Swamp. So, you know, so for every minute that I can dwell on how fucked I am, how miserable I am, how uh, depressed, joyless, lonely, and just generally fucked or not fucked, as the case may be, for every minute that I can dwell on my own teeny-weeny little personal problems that has nothing to do with the state of the planet or with anybody else on the planet. The more time I can cocoon myself in this ever-growing wet blanket uh, of uh, self-pity, self-loathing, uh, suicidal ideation, I think is the clinical term for it, uh, this, this hopeless despair about my own life, my own dark, hopeless future, uh, I spend less and less time thinking about what did you call it? Uh, I spend less and less time, I, I, I have been thinking less and less lately about collapse, extinction, and loss, and how utterly infected our civilization is by the sickness of greed, is to elevate my own teeny-weeny little personal problems. Uh, you know, to a place that dominates uh, pretty much uh, every waking hour. I, I, I spend about one hour a day in the Doomosphere now, is what I would say. Um, about an hour a day in the Doomosphere. Like, for instance, you know, I just went and checked out three books so maybe this is, so this is kind of, uh, I guess this is a coping mechanism I mentioned yesterday. I have made a, uh, a New Year's resolution to read more books. And so when I went into the library yesterday, as hard as it was, I assiduously avoided the environmental sciences section. You know, I had no interest and going over there to the Doomosphere section of the library to check out a Bible of the Apocalypse. I instead checked out three novels. Uh, now they're dark novels, uh, so at least my novels, I am, a, you know, looking for dark fiction, you know, by T.C. Boyle and people like that. Uh, but I am assiduously avoiding what I uh, call Bibles of the Apocalypse and am uh, going to start reading novels. Uh, I also mentioned that I have uh, started meditating, uh, which I just did, uh, finished doing. I, I might talk about power spots at some point. Uh, which is one of the easier lessons of Don Juan Matus and Carlos Castaneda. Maybe someday I'll talk about power spots, but every time I try to uh, talk about Carlos Castaneda and the teachings of Don Juan, I make an absolute fool out of myself. So I'm going to leave that for a later uh, rant. But right now, that's my suggestion, Tom. Uh, is spend more time 
thinking about how personally fucked you are. Uh, think about every mistake you have ever made in your life. Think about every, you know, little physical ailment. You know, being older, you know, I have all sorts of physical ailments that I can look forward to. I, my shoulder, my hip, my teeth, my eyes, uh, you, you know, the, you're quite a bit younger, but you can look forward to all of these physical complaints that, that they'll take more and more of your time away from thinking about the doomosphere. So I'm looking forward to, to spending more time dwelling on uh, how I am past my physical prime and I just get to sit around and watch my body deteriorate and fail from this point forward, uh, growing ever more physically helpless. Uh, so that's something. It's never too. It's never too early to start dwelling on you know your little personal physical problems that nobody wants to hear you fucking whining about. We've got our own fucking problems, okay? Uh, but so dwell on those you know, financial difficulties, uh, it, it's always easy to dwell on how, how broke you are. Uh, so I recommend that. Uh, of course, romant, you know, romantic difficulties, your love life, your sex life, uh, you know, the more non-existent uh, lovers, sexual partners and just friends become in your life. Uh, that that can take a lot of your time away from dwelling on all these other dreary subjects. Of course, the corona panic, you, you know, the biggest distraction in the history of humanity. How could I forget that? How could I forget the corona panic? Uh, you can spend the rest of your life Apparently is what's, uh, you know, you can certainly spend the rest of 2021 distracting yourself from the collapse of a planet by uh, being distracted by the single biggest distraction in the history of humanity. Uh, you can either become a mask Nazi or the other end of the spectrum, uh, an anti-masker. You can spend more and more and more of your life being triggered by masks. Uh, whether you are a mask Nazi, you can spend more and more of your life in emotional energy being absolutely enraged uh, by people like me, or if you are a person with a brain like me and my fellow anti-maskers, you can spend more and more of your time, energy, and whatnot uh, being triggered and enraged by these clueless fucking moron panic-ridden sheeple uh, going around with their goddamn masks trying to put the toothpaste back in the tube. So I highly recommend uh, the corona panic as a way to cope with uh, what's really going on on the planet. Uh, since what the corona panic should not be anywhere, certainly in the top 100 stories on the planet. But since it is the only story on the planet, it is a very good device. I cannot believe I didn't think of the corona panic. But anyway, I hope this has given you some ideas. And uh, so right back in a month or so, and let us know how you're doing uh, dwelling on how fucked you personally are, Tom. We want to hear how fucked you are. We know how fucked we are. Y'all are have a pretty good idea how fucked I am. Uh, so let's hear how fucked you are, Tom, and uh, see if that gets your mind off of these dreary, dark subjects that are obviously consuming too much of your attention so that it causes there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it, brother, except keep your fucking pecker in your pants. 
I think Tom is not a breeder, as I recall. Uh, I got uh, had the pleasure of meeting up with Brother Tom in Vermont for lunch. Tom, I think you're not a breeder, and you might even have a vasectomy. So now that you've done everything you can do uh, to save the planet, uh, just dwell on yourself uh, until you personally go extinct. And that's really the best advice I have for you from the bottom of my pathetic, joyless, depressed, collapsitarian hardened little ham bone heart. Hope that answers your question and helps you on your way to climb out of the shithole of the doomosphere. And with that, I gotta wrap this up because after all of that, I actually have a date tonight. I have a pile of fish date, so I have to go get ready for my, my date with my normie. Wish me luck. Uh, my ham bone is going to have a date with a normie unless she has uh, canceled the date because of the weather or just stands me up. And if she does cancel or stands me up, I will say, oh well, I saved a few dollars not buying some clueless normie dinner and some drinks. My guys.